conference is right now with all the teams. So again, a tremendous challenge in moving forward. Coach, you just said a word I want to touch on. You, you said the word mindset. I made a mention to you on the sideline Saturday night after the game that I saw a difference in the way your team looked walking off that field versus what I've seen in the past two years before. I want to touch on the word mindset because it seems like the mindset of this team has completely changed. I'm seeing young men that are wanting to – guys that are injured that still want to get out there on that field, guys that – just refuse to lay down, and that's what something we haven't seen in the first two years when when you was here. How much is that helping you this year? Well, it's helped us immensely, and it's a tribute to our players. And the whole culture is completely different. And you know, this is the fourth time we've taken over a football program, and you know, all four incidences are different. And you have to rely on your vast experiences. And you know, I think we all understand. Uh, the challenges, many challenges that we had coming in here. And I can't say enough for our coaches and, and our players because, you know, we've had to rechange everything. It's basically being an expansion team from ground zero. And we made a decision to do it really through the high school ranks. And, uh, you know, our players have now been grown in our program, even though they're really in year two. Um, but the work ethic, you know, that that's what I've been really proud of is just, their whole old mental disposition uh, the entire year. Uh, we're a connected football team. They trust the coaches. They trust each other. They hang on every word that you say, and they want to do well. And so, again, um, you know, we're going through the growing pains now of a long football season like every other team. But, again, I've just been proud of their resolve and their resiliency. Now we have to find ways to win games, uh, you know, and beat quality opponents like South Alabama, but we're night and day different than where we were two years ago. I'll go over to uh, Logan Whaley. Logan? Hey, Coach, I uh, had a couple questions. Uh, first, just wanted to uh, ask specifically more about the defense and uh, particularly, you know, Travian Thomas's play and just how you've seen him grow over the course of the season. Obviously, he had a big play there uh, in the fourth quarter with the forced fumble. And then, uh, you know, you talked about, you know, Texas State a little bit, uh, but I wanted to ask about uh, just T.J. Finley and, and what he's uh, provided for that program uh, and that offense just having to prepare uh, for them too. Well, first of all, with Travian Thomas, you know, the best thing you can compliment a player is, you know, he, he's very consistent. We talk about consistency and performance on a daily basis, and that's what he brings you know what you're getting every single day. He's really turned into a student of the game, and he's been one of our most consistent players defensively. And, uh, again, you know, we give up an explosive play, but to our defense's credit, we didn't stop playing. In the blind pursuit, we were able to generate and force that turnover to really give us an opportunity at the end of the game. Um, in terms of Finley, uh, presents so many different challenges for you. First of all, uh, you know, his size and his stature, he may be the biggest player out there on the field and uh, he's hard to tackle. He's hard to tackle one on one. He's able to see the pocket. He can push the ball down the field. He can make plays with his legs. He's played a lot of football. So, again, a very, very dynamic player uh, that really presents a unique amount of uh, issues and problems for you from a defensive standpoint. And we got one question in the chat from uh, Clint Shields. Uh, defensively, are you able to take anything from how some other defenses, Troy and Coastal Carolina, for example, defend Texas State's offense? Well, I think, you know, that's part of the scouting process is, you know, you always go through your cut-ups and you go through your games and you see what people did and you get, get different ideas. But I think each game is unique in and of itself uh, because it's all about one-on-one -on -one matchups. And some teams you match up better than others. Um, so I think it really comes down to, you know, playing defense or really offense to the skill set of your players and what they can do. But yes, as a coach, you always look at, you know, what creates issues, how do they attack different things? That's all part of it. Great. Thank you, coach. Appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. All right. Everyone.